Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Lindsay XV6, uh, and we're going to be starting a new season of Satisfactory, as I said many moons ago. Um, and in the meantime, I've been playing Valhalla, which is why I haven't been doing any Satisfactory. So one thing I did do, though, other than uh, play Valhalla, is I made sure that I didn't actually play the experimental version of Satisfactory. So everything that I'm going to do in this season, with all the new gear that's just come out, I have absolutely no idea. I haven't played with it, I haven't used Experimental, I haven't actually seen it, I've seen a few videos, that's it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump into a new game. Uh, we're going to skip the intro. Uh, for those of you who have never actually played this uh, game before, uh, you don't actually start at Tier 1. You start more like a tutorial. Uh, way back uh, and you build yourself up to the tier one however if you played um, the game quite a bit and such as I have um, you can actually skip the tutorial uh, the basic tutorial section and just go straight to tier one it'll give you a whole heap of gear uh, and it's enough to get you started now we do have the uh, four areas um, the grass fields which is first time uh, rocky desert which is uh, for the first time players as well. It's a little harder than uh, Grassfields, uh, but it is actually a nice place. Uh, my favorite is the Northern Forest, but I'm not going to use that this time. Now, we did that last time. Uh, not so good for the first time player, but yeah, if you're a first time player, you can get around it. And then there's the Dune, which if you're a first time player, you're probably just going to die again and again and again and again great for building in uh, once you get down there yeah huge amount of space resources are scattered everywhere which means there's a lot of running there's going to be a lot of belt work there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to have to do just to get your factory uh, up and running um, but for this we're going to start in the rocky desert we probably will end up in all four places but we're going to start in the rocky desert um, call this season four and let's go okay one of the things that this will do is the uh, drop ship animation that you get to see the little video at the start uh, we should actually skip all that as well okay so ooh, here we are where are we oh yeah that's right you don't have a map to start with either just quietly um, inventory, there we go, inventory. So, you start out with your Xeno Zapper, which uh, you want to drop in your hand. Uh, it gives you some basic materials and it gives you four miners to start with, and uh, the hub. Um, now I've got to figure out where the bloody hell we are. There's, okay, there's the river. Should be a big lake around here somewhere. So we'll go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. Oh, might as well collect all the bushes. We're going to need all this stuff anyway, as you will see. Uh, what I'm looking for is, uh, thank you, there's limestone, that's excellent, uh, we'll grab some more berries, alright there's the lake, cool, that gives me a big body of water to play with. Now, I do know that there is copper, pretty sure there's copper in this area, there should be iron, oh, okay, that's a problem. You know what, we're just going to go with the problem, this is a nice big flat area, it's a good starting point, I do need the limestone over there, and that's sort of what we're looking at doing anyway, we're just going to look at where we're going to build. So. Why is that not? Oh, hang on. 
It's been so long since I've played now I've got to remember actually how to build. <laughs> Crap. Nope, that's not the gear one. Are you serious? Um Oh you idiot. The shortcuts are down on the side there. Alright, so to build uh, when we need specials. Thank you, the hub. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, so down on the lower right hand side, you can see the shortcut button, uh, shortcut bar. It's actually telling you what to do. So Q is build, F is destroy, B is your flashlight. Um, Okay, nothing under V, I don't have that yet. Uh, X is your inbox and tutorials, etc. Uh, I is your inventory. So, we'll just go check everything out because everything's going to do the recipe thing. So, okay, that's cleared. Uh, the hub is where we actually start with tier one. So the first tiers we're going to be looking at are base building, logistics, and field research. So as you can see, we need limestone, uh, iron plate, and iron rod. Logistics, uh, plates, rods, and copper wire. And field research is going to uh, have the extra screws. Not a big issue. Uh, getting into tier 2, parts assemblies, obstacle clearing, jump pads, the resource sink, oh they've moved the resource sink, excellent, and then faster conveyor belts. So we're going to concentrate on tier 1 to start with, uh, we should have our little thing, uh, it doesn't look like they've cleaned this up any, uh, they still have the toilet, that's great, you can't use it by the way, it's just, it's just there. Oh my god. Um, all the storage that you see, all of this, this is just there for whatever reason. However, this is also where you respawn when you die. So, always handy to know. And at the back is your two uh, biomass burners. Right. Easy peasy. Let's go over here, uh, and what we're going to do is drop down a couple of miners because we don't actually have access to any of the other miners at the moment. So that's a problem. So yeah, we'll put one miner down there. Uh, we'll go for a run around. As you're running around, collect the berries. The berries are uh, what is going to redo your health for you. I get a distinct feeling I might have started in a really bad place. Uh, and always remember to re equip your Xeno Zepper. Uh, as you go up in levels, um, you can, you will get more slots. So at the moment you see we've got a problem with the, like, the Xeno Zapper and, oh, Iron Ore, we need that. We need lots of that. I'm going to have to find copper, but for the time being, We get two of those going. Whoop, no, we don't want to play with those. All right, these plants you can see at the back here, uh, if you get too close to them, they will spit out little uh, bug things. They're a pain in the ass to kill when you're early on in the game. Right, we're running around this side. This is probably going to be iron ore as well. Yep, good, okay. Uh, and we're collecting all this stuff as well because we need it for the biomass burner. By mass burner will give us power. Um, yeah, I've got to remember where the copper is. All right, we'll go back the other way. 
okay, those things actually walk <laughs> and they spit out gas. So we don't want to play with those. Yep, there we go. We got a wee bit too close. Why is that? Oh, okay. It's one of those things we'll come back to. So there will be a lot of running around in this game. Episode 1 will uh, have most of the running around, hopefully. Um, in future episodes, uh, I will actually cut most of this running around out. So you don't have to watch it, because... Beginning of the game here is a lot of running around. There's not much you can do about it. You don't have conveyor belts, you don't have the trucks, you don't have... Uh, literally anything that will assist you in getting around the map faster. You gotta work your way up to that. Um, you can... <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, you can actually pick up the hub. You can move it. So that's not a big issue. Miners will only collect 100 uh, items, which is why I put two down on the iron ore. Um, but without copper, I'm going to run into some serious problems. Some very serious problems, actually. All right. We're going to do the one thing we don't want to do. Yes, you can handcraft all the items in the game. Well, no, actually, that's wrong. You can handcraft probably about 80% of the items in the game. Um, the rest of them have to be made by a factory. Uh, in this case, I am just going to uh, do what I can by hand. Uh, okay, we need 200. So we're going to select the milestone, I'm going to load that up, uh, load those in, load those in, and now as you can see on the right hand side it's telling you how much stuff that you actually need to produce. So we still need, uh, I need to grab that iron, I need a, a bunch more of the limestone. So I'll go grab the iron and I'll leave the limestone going. Open, take. Open, open, take. I do have minus. Alrighty, so we've got the concrete, we've got the iron plate, we've got the rods. Let's launch the pod. Actually, does the pod launch? Milestone reach. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first move. Yep, piss off. And there it goes. Woohoo! Ah, it'll be back. Boom. All right, back into here. Select milestone. All right, that's going to be the next milestone. So if we go into Q, 
Now, before anybody tells me, yes, I do realize that I do have the Miner Mark 1, which is right here. I do have all the equipment to make the miner. Uh, there's the smelter. We do have the craft bench in the workshop, what we can get to. Uh, we do have access to the power lines, the power poles. I don't have copper, which is going to be the biggest drawback. Uh, so power lines. And we do have the uh, uh, Mark 1 conveyor belts and poles. Storage. We now have our foundations, so we can now build things and we can have walls. Which is a good start. So, we're, hang on, what have we got? We've got 52. Okay, that might be enough. So, what I will do is I'll whack a miner down over here. Oh, that's our pod coming back. So we'll put the miner down over here, we'll get the limestone. Limestone is needed for uh, all the structures. Uh, and I'm really thinking of just putting all the foundations in this area anyway, uh, just to start with. And we can go from there. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Excellent. Thank you for that. Right, do we have the stuff for the Minor Mark 1? Yes, we do. Right, so we'll come over here. Uh, open, we're going to pick up the Minor. That also picks up the Limestone, which is excellent. Uh, we'll go into the Build menu, select Minor Mark 1. And uh, that'll do. Look at that. Um... Well, let's not do this uh, production. Where's logistics? No, production. No, it wasn't the right one. Ah, constructor. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So, I'm just looking for the little green lines. You'll see them pop up. Um, they actually tell you your alignment. Yeah. Uh, every time I get the top one lined up, I move my mouse. There we go. Three. Down to there. Right, so that's going to come out of there. Go into here. Come out of there. Select the constructor. We're going to make concrete. And once we've made the concrete, do I have enough for storage? Yeah, I have just enough for, to make a storage unit. Uh, where's my, why am I not getting my lineups? No. Am I looking at a... That's weird. I can see it on one side, I can't see it on the other. That's very strange. Alright, so what's going to happen, that's going to mine, that's going to go into the constructor, constructor's going to go into there, and that means I can just pick up the concrete from there. Very, very simple. So, power line down to here, and of course power line to there. Oh, uh, what are we missing? Hey, look at that, we're actually missing concrete. <laughs> Cute. Uh, and I'll just quickly go <laughs> make some concrete. Yes, at the beginning of the game, it is a pain in the ass to actually set up. You're going to be running backwards and forwards. You're going to need to get your iron. You're going to need to get your copper. You're going to need to get your concrete made up. You're going to have to run backwards and forwards until you can get your first pieces of machinery up and running. And the first one um, is going to be concrete. Most people, if they can, they'll do iron or they'll do uh, copper or something along those lines. However, if you can get concrete started, then I highly recommend you get concrete started. So that can go there. Ah, uh, we're going to fall off the cliff. That's excellent. Oh. Didn't take any um, damage on that one. Good. 
Okay, we'll race back over here. What I was going to do, say, okay, I'm going to put another one here. And the reason is these outputs can only be connected once. You can't daisy chain these and then put them onto the power pole. They have to come off singly. So if we configure that, have that, insert fuel, and then insert the other fuel here. That should be bio wood is going. Yep, cool. Uh, race back down here. Da, 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 da. And there we go. We are now mining concrete. So if we come over here, we'll have a look at the miner. Um, it's producing 60 a minute. So what we, oh yeah, it's a normal node. So an impure node will give you 30 a minute, a normal node will give you 60 a minute, and a pure node will give you 120 a minute. Now you can upgrade that, that's just a standard miner. When we get into the other miners, you start getting things like 240 minute off a node. There we go, and there's concrete. So if you go into here, it tells me I need 45 a minute, uh, and I can produce one every four seconds, or basically 15 concrete per minute. And yes, there is a way to actually make this faster. And there we go. Uh, that is the beginning of the concrete. Um, I'm going to let that run. And that was going to be the end of this episode. So while I go off cam, I will have a look around. I'll try to find where the copper is. Um, and I'm essentially just going to do the same construct. If I can find copper, I'll do the same construct over at the iron and basically just belt the iron back. That way we don't have to run over to the iron node all the time. And, of course, if I can find a copper node, I'll do the same thing for the copper node. Again, very, very slow. It is slow to start with. These um, Mark 1 belts, if we go into logistics. So a Mark 1 belt will only transport 60 resources per minute. So, theoretically, if uh, this used 60 per minute, uh, we would just see a continuous line of uh, limestone come out, go into the constructor, be made into concrete, and that would be it. However, uh, it's filling up. Once this gets to 100, it stops. It will stop taking in limestone. The machine itself won't actually stop. It will keep going, and it will just take in what it needs. Uh, now, there you have it. So if you like the video, of course, do the thumbs up thing. Um, it just helps out with YouTube. Uh, if you want to keep up to date, of course, uh, do hit the notification button and don't forget to hit the subscribe. Uh, I will be doing um, Satisfactory and I will also be starting a new Valhelm uh, season as well. So these two seasons will be running concurrent with each other. Uh, Probably looking at weekly videos, so, or maybe even fortnightly, I don't know. It depends on um, work commitments as well as uh, gaming commitments. Since, yeah, <laughs> running two games simultaneously, doing recordings and all the rest of it, it does take a lot of uh, my spare time to actually get it all set up. But we'll see how we go. At the moment, we're planning for at least one uh, video per week of each. We'll go from there. Uh, and we'll see how we go from in the future. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, a fair winds and falling seas.